okay, my new worst fear is having a baby on a plane and not just a baby, but a teeny tiny baby. But all right hey guys it is friday i'm starting the vlog early this weekend it's a big weekend i've got a lot to do today is a big day i'm just about to go to my ob and do my gestational diabetes test i hope i pass i don't think it's a thing that you like find out on the day of i think you have to wait for the results but right now i need to pull down my hair hopefully it looks good this is some uh day three hair we're working with not bad <laughs> I'm wearing one of the dresses that I wore in my maternity try-on haul that I just put up a couple days ago, a few days ago, last week. When is this video going live? I don't even know. And I feel like I haven't worn a black dress in so long, I feel like I look weird. But it's cute, right? And it is maternity, and I like how it fits. I'm just going with it, you know? This hair also just going with it. Okay, I just realized that Grant has not texted me that he's on his way home and he's supposed to be home in like five minutes. On Fridays, sometimes he can take a half day. Today he was able to do that, so he's coming with me. I'm really happy. Is this hair okay? It's okay enough, right? So hopefully he's on his way. Hopefully he's almost here. How do I feel about this dress? Questioning everything right now. We are doing the bare minimum today. I don't have much time. I just got done eating lunch. I had a taco. That's what I eat all the time during the weekdays. I just eat chicken tacos. Makes me happy. Don't have to think about it. That's my happy place. And I just had a phone call that was very productive and it made me feel really good about today because I've been scrambling this week. Bare minimum complete. Actually, this is needed. now we're complete y'all my house is a disaster right now i don't know it's just everything is everywhere i really need to clean right now obviously i need to go to my doctor's appointment above all i have been scrambling this week i've been trying to get so much stuff done we have a trip coming up we're going on our baby moon it is so 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 exciting we're leaving for hawaii in the next week and i can't wait for this this is a trip that we've had planned for like months, months and months. And we've had to change the scheduling a couple different times. Uh, initially, I think we were gonna go during my 24th week, but because of what we learned about the heart block and we had to do a whole bunch of checks with the high-risk OB, uh, we wanted to delay it because we didn't wanna miss any of those appointments. So we moved it and then we moved it again and now it's finally coming up. So we've been looking forward to this for so, so long, but it's always kind of felt like it was was up in the air you know we're finally getting ready for it everything is everywhere in my house I've been scrambling to try to get work done in the last week because I'm gonna try not to like be doing a lot of work stuff I'm still gonna do work stuff I mean who am I kidding I just saw Grant pull up so he's here we're probably just gonna jump right into the car go to the OB do my gestational diabetes test I told her you better not ruin my vacation by giving me bad news. And she's like, well, maybe I'll just hold on to your results before you get back. I don't know if that was a real thing that she can do or would do, but we'll see. So my mom had gestational diabetes whenever she was pregnant with me, but I don't think that she had it with her other two pregnancies. And I know it was just like a whole thing that she had to manage with her diet and everything. I know a lot of people have it and it's kind of something that's like out of your hands, or at least from what I've learned, it is something that is mostly out of your hands. Hopefully I don't have it, but we're about to see. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Big test. All right, so just before we dash out the door, I wanted to show you the dress in case you did miss that haul. I mean, obviously it's like a maternity haul. It's very specific. So if you didn't watch it, I don't blame you, but it's just like a little faux wrap dress, little tie on the side, little ruching on the sleeves. We got Miss Baby going strong here. I feel like we have been growing so, so much in the past two weeks, especially. It's like, wow, okay. She's here, she's coming. This is happening in a whole new way, you know? All right, time to get my drink. What is even happening in here? Come on, guys. Here we go. She offered fruit punch or orange, and I am a fruit punch kind of gal, especially if it's red, like this. This seems like the safe choice to me. I am so not down for orange. All right, so they told me to start drinking this in the car on the way. 
away and to finish it within five minutes and record the time that I'm done drinking it. Lots of instructions with this. And I've seen so many people online having to do this test, talking about this test, and making such a huge deal about having to drink this sugar drink. Like, really dramatic. Really, really dramatic. So, I feel like I've done this test in the past. Actually, I'm like 99% sure I've done it in the past. Maybe they have nasty drinks at some places and not nasty drinks at other places, but it's really hard for me to believe that it's as nasty as people say. So let's do a little taste test. Cheers. Tastes like snack time juice. It tastes like something that they'd give you like at church when you're a little kid for a snack at Sunday school or whatever. It's just like a generic fruit punch flavor. It's not delicious, it's not gross. It's definitely closer to delicious than it is gross and borderline <laughs> traumatizing. But hey, maybe they have different stuff different places. I'm sorry if you've had a traumatizing experience with your fruit punch. <laughs> I don't know what it is, I think it's like having gone through IVF and all that stuff. When people complain about things like fruit punch, I'm like, I just have a real hard time with it. It's just, that's just the situation. Yeah, it's kind of like a little extra like syrupy. It takes me back to like teaching Sunday school <laughs> with like three-year-olds and giving them like little cups. Give them that juice. Yeah, get them fired up. Fired up. <laughs> Grant and I are matching today. Yeah. Very chic. Very, very. I feel like I haven't worn black in a really long time. I was seeing myself in the camera and I was like, who is this? All the cool kids are doing it. I told Grant that he looks like a dentist when he wears this outfit. <laughs> I don't know what it is. My brain just says dentist, but it's a good look. It's a very good look. How excited are you for next week? I'm super excited. I mean, I'm on vacation now, dude. Hey. To start relaxing. <laughs> Not for me. Not for you, no. You gotta work. To the bone. All done. Review. As far as drinks goes, I didn't love it, but I survived somehow. <laughs> I don't know if you could see it, but out in the waiting room, baby was going crazy. I feel like she loved the fruit punch. She definitely liked it a little more than I did. She's like going crazy. What are you thinking about Grant? All the stuff we gotta do before my day. <laughs> I thought you were already on vacation. I am uh, stressing. <laughs> Grant's a good planner, but he's a little bit of an anxious planner too. They're playing your jams here, Grant. Watercolor. Watercolors for life. Do your solo. <laughs> Perfect. Yay. You love to hear it. Yep. Miss Baby did a good job at the doctor. It's so warm outside, I feel like my lips are kind of swollen. They have lips? Is that a thing? My nose is definitely swollen. I can not breathe at all out of it. But that's been pretty consistent since like day one of pregnancy. I have not breathed through my nose in many months. So anyway, we just got out of the appointment. Everything went well. And we actually did an extra test uh, to make sure that I am nowhere close to labor because of these contractions and also because we're going out of town and we should get the results in I think about four hours. I'm not sure when we get the results of the gestational diabetes. Um, I felt fine. I thought maybe I was feeling something or whatever when we were waiting for the doctor to come in, but really, I don't, I don't think I felt anything, but I think the baby really liked the sugar. She's like both of us. We like our sugar. Anyway, everything went well. I love my doctor so much. She's so nice. She doesn't get panicky about things and I just appreciate that so much. I just feel like when you're pregnant, you just need someone that's like, it's all good. 
if it is all good, of course. Anyway, right now we are just about to run into Best Buy because I'm gonna get a new vlog camera because this one has been like mildly broken for a really long time and I've just been dealing with it and I'm sick of it and I don't wanna bring this broken camera on our baby moon. All right, kind of bad news. We kept setting off the alarm in the Best Buy we weren't even touching anything, but the alarms kept going off a million times, so I didn't even think about recording anything. But what was really bad was they didn't have the cameras in stock. He said that it's been part of the whole huge shipping delay, and apparently they haven't been in stock, and they're not in stock in a bunch of the stores around here. I'm gonna look, but I might just have to take a broken camera on the trip. And right now we are just about to be at our COVID test. You have to do a COVID test before you get on the flight. And I think it's like 72 hours before you go. I haven't done a COVID test in a really long time and I've done a bunch of them because I would always do them before visiting family. I didn't miss them, I'm not gonna lie. It really looks like we're just wearing the same outfit right now. I'm styling it, you're wearing it. <laughs> Never misses a chance. You look better than I do. Grant is a professional Always. heckler. Heckles. So right now we just stopped at Walgreens and we're at the drive-thru and we're doing a quick COVID test because it's required for the flight. We got a pass or we won't get to fly. Yep. Pressure's on. Got it done. So we just took a quick break, went home, Grant changed. I guess he didn't want to match with me anymore. Okay. Can't compete with you. <laughs> but he was still in his work clothes, so it's understandable and I had to post something. But now we're at the mall because we've suddenly decided we need another suitcase. We have like a real wild collection of suitcases and bags. And when we were at the doctor waiting for the doctor to come in, Grant was looking up how many bags we're actually allowed to bring. And we're actually allowed to bring more bags than we own. So we thought it was probably the perfect time to just go ahead and look and see if we can find, I don't know, in my mind, we'll get like a new set and like start fresh. That's probably not gonna happen. We might just get like one more big one. I don't know, we're just gonna go look. If we find something, we find something. If we don't, okay. This is not an interesting shopping trip. We don't love anything. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. Grant is suddenly moving the couch. <laughs> The weather is crazy outside. It's about 7.30 in the morning. We're finally expecting our couch delivery. Remember when we bought a couch a million years ago? Well, they're coming in, I don't know, about 30 minutes. And we're trying to get this couch out of the way. But obviously, I shouldn't be doing any major heavy lifting. I don't think you should try to take this upstairs by yourself. No, <laughs> oh my gosh. It's huge though. It's bigger than you. So there it goes. It will at least be out of the way. Because obviously this is where we're gonna put the new couch. <laughs> Do you like our crazy cord mess? <laughs> it's gonna be so heavy, Grant. Uh oh, this lady needs to go outside. Ooh, it's been raining this morning. It's so dark. Uh oh, it looks like somebody's a little disturbed. Is everything okay, Looney Bean? Did someone move your couch? <laughs> I'm so excited to see what the couch looks like. It's been so long since we ordered it. It could honestly be anything. <laughs> there it is. It looks huge. Let's take the first sit. It looks so goofy. <laughs> okay, it's a little bit off center and it's super, super fluffy. This is obviously the fluffiest the couch is ever gonna look. It's like standing off the bottom right now, but we really like it. It's really cute. It's really fluffy and it makes it really comfy. Where did all these pillows even come from? I didn't think those were part of it. Kinda like it without that. I'm not a big pillow person. This is a very pillowy couch in general, but like these two, 
I could live without, you know? You don't really see the base very much, but the base is cute too. I like it. Oh my gosh. If I look like I just woke up, it's because I did. I need to put the camera down. I'm in Grant's car right now. There is nowhere to put the camera. Look at all this junk in the way. Nope. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to hold it. All right, I think this is okay. Hopefully this is okay. So it's like four o'clock right now. A lot of time has passed. Mm, there's someone right next to me. How could they in a public parking lot? And she's looking at me. What was I even saying? I don't know. So a lot of time has passed since I think the last clip, I think that was at like 7.30 or so when we got the couch. After that, it was furious cleaning because like I said yesterday, our house is just an absolute disaster. It's a lot better now. And the reason why there was furious cleaning was because Grant's dad and stepmom were coming over and they've never been over to our new house. Uh, they just haven't visited. There hasn't been a good time in a really long time. And then we went out to lunch. We had a great time. I had some fried shrimp that was maybe the best fried shrimp I've ever had in my life. It was so good and I feasted. It was amazing. I definitely ate more than I should have. I have to be like careful how much I eat at this point because if I eat too much, I'm just miserable. I didn't get miserable. It was totally worth it. After that, we were really close to another luggage store that we'd never been to away. I feel like I've seen that brand around on social media a lot, but I've never been to one of the stores or actually like, seen them in person, but everyone was so nice in the store, super helpful, and we got a suitcase. I mean, I would love to get like a whole new set, but we just got another big one. So I think we're gonna be in really good shape to start packing. We probably have to start packing today. Oh, I hate packing so much. But after that, we came home, we chilled, we talked with them a little bit longer. We had such a good afternoon, and then we were both just like completely wiped out. Out, especially me <laughs> I feel like the tiredness is really coming back I'm 28 weeks now I'm officially in my third trimester and in the afternoon and especially in the early evening like I'm just like oh I could go to sleep right now and my legs get tired and my hips feel tired from like nothing from just like an average day not doing anything spectacular or impressive. Anyway, right now I'm sitting in a parking lot. I'm just about to go into a wax appointment because we're going to the beach and this belly is starting to get in the way, starting to make things like a little more complicated. And I figured like, I just don't even want to deal with it. I'm just going to go for a wax appointment. I honestly haven't done this in years. I'm a little nervous. I'm not looking forward to it at least. <laughs> I mean, does anyone? Maybe if it's something that you do all the time, you're fine with it. It doesn't bother me, but I don't know. It seemed like a good idea. And then when we came home, we were both super tired. So we both laid down to take a nap and I set an alarm, but of course I didn't check what day it was gonna go off. And it was just like a weekday alarm. And so it didn't go off. And luckily I woke up at the last second and I like sprang out of the bed and I was like, the alarm didn't go off. I like whipped on my dress and got in the car and now I'm here and I walked in and they're like, oh, your appointment's running late. So you, you have like 15 minutes to wait. So that's why I'm here right now with you. Ugh. The day has just flown by, but I'm really, really, really glad we were able to get in that nap because I was exhausted from eating shrimp. What is pregnancy? Where <laughs> you get tired from hanging out, eating shrimp. That's not true. There was a lot of cleaning going on. I definitely pulled it together. I'll show you my dress. I'll show you my outfit whenever I get home because it's really cute. It's one of the dresses that I got last weekend. And you know what? I probably need to go back in now. Wish me luck. <laughs> All right, I'm back home. I survived my appointment. I will say more painful than I remember. I haven't gone for a waxing appointment in a couple of years, probably over three years. I just, I just do my thing at home, you know? It's so much easier, so much more convenient. Definitely more painful than I remember. And I asked the girl, is it because of pregnancy? Like do pregnant women like, I don't know, are you more sensitive or whatever? And she said, sometimes that's true. Some people say that it is a little bit more sensitive. I feel like I have a pretty good pain tolerance in general, and I don't remember it being painful, painful when I used to do it. And I used to do it pretty regularly. So anyway, 
it was fine it's all good it all worked out in the end and i'm just here talking to you in the mirror because i wanted to show you my outfit in case you didn't see this dress last weekend i just got it last weekend and i love it i'm absolutely taking it on the trip oh my gosh so cute so comfy and as always most exciting thing in the world to me is a cute back I love this so much. I should have been wearing my hair up just to show that off, but I love this dress. I will link it down below in the description. And then these shoes, I busted them out because they're like vacation -y to me, but I've had these for like three, four, five years. I don't know. I feel like I've had these shoes forever. They're just like cute little nothing espadrilles. Oh my gosh, I'm out of breath right now. <laughs> gave myself a contraction just talking they just happen constantly i don't even know how to explain it i know i'm just walking around the house talking about things that i see this is the new suitcase let me show you so i was really really torn on colors and i actually think i might be regretting our choice i really wanted to avoid getting black just so it'll be a little bit easier to spot when it's coming down on baggage claim. And we went with green. As you can see, it looks black. Maybe if I turn on this light, can you see? It's just a super, super dark green. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like we should have gone with beige, but I could tell Grant was not crazy about the beige idea. But they have a crazy good return policy. I think it's like 100 days or something. This is not like a sponsored thing, like we just bought this, but you can bring it back like even if you use it, even if you take it on a trip. And the people were so nice and they had so many options and I don't know what's going on here though. Hello, what happened? Yeah, I think that you can see the green tone now. It's huge, it's gonna be perfect. Okay, so you know how people talk about like pregnancy brain and how you become more forgetful and scattered and you forget random words and stuff. I've always been very nervous about that because I feel like I'm like that anyway without pregnancy. So I can't really imagine <laughs> me with more of that. And so far I feel like I've been lucky and I haven't really experienced that part of pregnancy until like the last week or so, like just random words will leave me. I feel like I'm repeating myself and forgetting what I've told who and all of that stuff. And in this moment right now, I genuinely cannot remember if I've actually told you guys where we're going for our baby moon. So I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but we're going to Hawaii. We're going to Maui. We actually went to Hawaii for our honeymoon and we went to Kauai and we went to Oahu. And this time we're going to Maui. We've heard so many good things. Like when we came back from our honeymoon and would talk about everything, pretty much everyone is like, you gotta go to Maui. So we're making it happen. I'm so excited. We've been planning for this trip for so, 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 so long. And I can't remember how much I've told you guys about this. It, it was supposed to happen long ago, but we had to postpone it, obviously. So we're going now. I'm gonna be 29 weeks for most of the trip and we've cleared it with all the doctors. We talked to the cardiologist about it. We talked to my regular OB, we talked to my high risk OB, you know, during the planning process and whenever we were postponing the trip, cause we just wanted to make super, super sure. It's a very long flight, obviously, and it's very far away. Um, but I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about the contractions and what the doctor said and stuff like that, because honestly, can't remember what I told you yesterday when I was in the car. And I actually have an update because we got some test results back. So we did the fetal fibronectin test. Fibronectin, I might be saying that wrong. I'll put the words on the screen if you wanna look it up. But basically the test detects a chemical that is present when labor is coming or it's like within the next two weeks, you could go into labor. If it's not present, you're not gonna go into labor, but if it is, you could. So it's not like a promise, like a surefire, like if it's positive, you're having a baby within the next two weeks, but if it's negative, you're not gonna have a baby within the next two weeks. Hopefully that makes sense. So obviously getting the results back from that and hearing that it's negative would be really, really, really reassuring. And we were supposed to get the results last night, which felt kind of crazy, because it was a Friday, it was a Friday afternoon, and the doctor's like, yeah, I'll call you today, later today, whenever we get the results back. She didn't call, <laughs> and so we called in earlier today, and they couldn't find the results, they couldn't find like any trace of 
anything about the test being done. So a little nervous, but I did get a call when I was on the way to the waxing place and we heard back that the test was negative. So we're in the clear despite all of these contractions and you know, really they're annoying more than anything. And so far I haven't really felt like concerned about it. I really just thought, hey, this is just something that happens to some women. Some people have these like practice contractions. Some people don't. I have a lot of them. Like <laughs> I have them all day, every day since 26 weeks. And I'm at 28 weeks now or nearing the end of 28 weeks. And the other day, getting ready for these uh, doctor's appointments, because I saw my high risk OB on Wednesday and then the regular one yesterday on Friday, I decided to do a little experiment and record all of my contractions through the day and the time and what I was doing to try to see if there was any kind of pattern, because I, I felt like there wasn't, and I was right. But that day I had 29 contractions. And basically for me, there's no pain. I haven't had any bleeding there's no fluid or anything like that like anything that would be like a really bad sign they're not back to back to back usually sometimes they are sometimes they're like five minutes apart there's basically no pattern i could be sitting on the couch watching tiktok or sitting at my desk editing a video like not changing positions not peeing like what like i'm not doing anything to aggravate the situation but yet I have contractions all the time and the doctor said, you know, this is just something that happens to some women. For whatever reason, it's just how my uterus is responding to being pregnant and she said that the way I'm built, it could make me a little bit more sensitive to them and feel them stronger. Look at Luna. <laughs> Do you love this new couch? She's getting comfy. She's my little mountain goat. How you doing, girlfriend? Did you come to help me vlog? She came for kisses. <laughs> what am I gonna do? I'm gonna miss you so much. I love her so much. <laughs> I don't even know what I was talking about. So, basically, we took that test, we did that swab, which I think is just miraculous. I it's like the coolest thing ever and she was very reassuring she did a physical exam she looked at my cervix you know everything looks good and i had the check also with the ultrasound with my high risk ob on wednesday she did make me a little more worried about the situation um but she also kind of checked all the boxes and by the end of the appointment she was like you're good. Like your situation is not normal. Having this many contractions every single day, you know, despite your level of activity, despite the hydration, despite all of the things that they recommend to do when you're having Braxton Hicks, like it's not normal, but I look good. I don't look like I'm going into preterm labor, which is a good thing, obviously. Um, I definitely had some moments on Wednesday and Thursday where I was like, okay, my new worst fear is having a baby on a plane and not just a baby, but a teeny tiny baby. Uh, they actually did measurements at my high risk OB appointment on Wednesday and the baby is measuring at two pounds, 13 ounces which when I told my regular OB that measurement, she was like, wow. <laughs> and it's definitely bigger than both of my pregnancy apps say that the baby like should be right now. I know the things on the apps are just estimates, but all along we've been saying we're about to have a big baby and it's definitely happening. She's growing great. I'm so happy. Her heart looks great. Everything looks good. She's moving around like crazy, having a party every day, all day, and I'm feeling good. And it was like a little like eh in the last week leading up to this trip with all of these contractions, but I feel like I'm in a good place. I was checked by all the doctors and I feel like we're good to go. And I'm really, really happy and I feel really, really grateful that we get to actually have a baby moon because, you know, obviously in the last year, everything's been completely up in the air and we really thought that we weren't gonna be able to have a baby moon at all. And I'm just so excited that we do get to go and we're getting to go all the way to Maui. It's just like the most exciting thing. And I really need to stop rambling and just go 
start packing because I'm horrible at packing. <laughs> I'm probably still gonna be horrible at packing even if I start today, but I don't wanna forget anything. And I don't wanna have to do anything last minute. So <sighs> I'm so out of breath. I need to go. <laughs> All right, slight change of plans. Suddenly we're in Arlington and we're at an outlet mall. I've never been here before, but apparently there are luggage stores. We're gonna check it out. Both of us looked at that suitcase and we were just like, eh, I don't know. We made that decision in like five minutes. I think it's a good option, but neither of us are in love with the color. I feel like we look crazy right now, but the truth is we're crazy and so here we are we get to <gasps> use this oh yay finally it's my moment hey it's Just... made the trip worth it oh made it worth it for you yeah <laughs> all right we're just gonna see whatever All right, it's sunday i'm up i had breakfast i was watching the end of runaway bride and then this day is already against me, already trying to sabotage all of the plans and things I need to take care of. I really have no choice, honestly. But look what's on now. Do you not recognize this movie? If you do not recognize this movie, just get it together. This is Teen Witch. It is one of the greats. What am I supposed to do? I need to wash my hair. I need to get my whole everything together. Everything is a mess in general. I need to pack. I need to finish laundry. Inevitably, while I'm packing, I'm gonna realize things that I've forgotten. Look at everything happening over here. I need to make returns or like go to the UPS store or whatever. And this movie is just gold. And I don't know what it is when a movie comes on TV or this is actually Pluto. It's like just like a streaming free TV thing. When a movie comes on, it's just like, it feels like fate, feels like you gotta watch it. <laughs> I know I don't have to watch it. I'm gonna turn it on my phone and get in the shower because I think this is like five day here. It's time. These trees are blooming so much now. I can't get enough of it. And it's almost like it's snowing. The little flowers are coming down all the time, but they're really teeny tiny. I don't know if you can see. All right, time for a quick snack break. I've got baby carrots and chunky guacamole from Costco. I love this brand. I've tried a few different brands of just like one serving guacamole cups for snacks. And this is by far the best tasting guacamole. It's not just like smushed avocados it's actually got like something to it it's got some flavor and i eat it with baby carrots because i feel like that's a healthier option try to get some veggies in because you guys see that the kinds of things i eat i gotta work them in where i can all right are you helping me girl <laughs> laundry has been happening we've got a bunch of stuff laying out to dry time to get busy it doesn't even want to recognize my face hello okay my camera recognizes garth doesn't recognize me you've never even met him anyway look at how i look with these shorts and this shirt i don't wear t-shirts lately i always wear dresses and i don't know why i i'm such a t-shirt person t-shirt and shorts all the time especially when it's hot and it's just been so rare that i've actually just like worn a t-shirt Wearing a t-shirt today, I feel like it really, really emphasizes the bump and I just feel like, I feel like it's growing every single day. It is so wild. I think I'm having a contraction right now for no good reason. And then I just have like these little, um, they're like bike shorts, but they're maternity. You can pull them up. I had them pulled down. They're just like really thin and super, super comfy and soft. I'm out of breath. Grant just texted me and he said that he's getting done early. He's golfing today, excuse me. And I thought he wasn't gonna be done for another two hours. So time to move a little bit faster. I need to make some serious progress. I am definitely like a slower packer than Grant is and generally like more of a procrastinator. So it's time for me to get it in gear. I need to have some like some tangible packing done by the time he gets home. And he just texted me like, we're leaving early. I'm gonna stop at Home Depot and then I'll be home. So I need to hurry. We're gonna make this happen. I'm just gonna be pulling stuff from the closet 
and piling them up. I kind of like to look at everything out and not just go straight into the suitcase so I can figure out shoes and bags and accessories and stuff like that. I'm gonna try to keep it simple. My thought process right now is just like grab every dress, put it in the suitcase. This is just the time of my life where all I wanna wear are cute dresses and I have a lot of cute dresses right now. So that's what we're doing. That's the game plan. I need to make it happen fast. <laughs> lifetime supply of compression socks for the flight. I guess I just didn't look at how many pairs of socks this came with because this, this is a lot. All right, are you ready to work on these packing cubes? <laughs> Literally, if I put anything on the bed, a dress, a ball gown, a towel, anything, she's like, mm-hmm. This is my place. These are just a couple of my packing cubes. I need to get out all the packing cubes. Our hero has returned. Did you win? No, I didn't win, no. Was there a winner? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> bring my wedding dress <laughs> if you've been with me a while like a long while you'll remember when we did our huge road trip from Houston to LA when Grant was moving um, we stopped in Vegas we stopped in a lot of places it was like a crazy road trip but <laughs> me being the crazy person that I am we were not engaged during the road trip we got engaged at the end of the road trip I was like you know if we get married in Vegas, I'm gonna wanna have a dress that I like. And I brought this on the road trip. To this day, it still has tags on it. <laughs> Should I bring this? We are doing some photos while we're there. Kind of like family photos. They might serve as like our maternity photos. I don't know, hopefully they can because it would be nice to just like knock it out, obviously. So should I wear this? <laughs> should I bring this? I'm really thinking about it. I feel like it would be funny. Did we drive in complete silence? Yeah. <laughs> it was only like a five minute drive. I know, I'm so tired too. My feet and my legs and my hips are killing me. It makes no sense. I feel like I've been packing my entire life. I cannot tell you how much I hate packing. And it's not like I didn't know what I wanted to bring ridiculous just like back to back non-stop ridiculous and guess what we're not even done we decided to take a little dinner break and we're also at Darjee surprise surprise well we need some more sunscreen but I don't think they have the right kind of sunscreen and I also would like some more packing cubes I've never maxed out my packing cubes before but here we are I'm doing it I just decided, whatever. I'm not gonna make myself miserable trying to like plan out day by day. I'm just bringing everything I wanna bring. Whatever happens, happens. I'm, I'm gonna have a lot of options. <laughs> Luckily, I have a supportive partner in this. <laughs> everything, I, I'm like, I shouldn't bring two uh, jean shorts, should I? And he's like, bring both. It'll be fun. I only got 100 pounds of stuff. We'll see. All right, what do they got? I knew Target wouldn't let me down. They don't have very cute ones, but they got them. Okay, just get them. Okay, somehow there's still nothing in the suitcases, but <laughs> things are getting into the packing cubes. We've got the new set of packing cubes. Not exactly as cute as my confetti set, but I think they're all right. And they're big enough, that's what's important. So, bathing suits, 100 bras. I'm just not even gonna think about it. Go in, go in. All right, at last, we are looking good. Things are going in. I'm not done 
but it's enough for now. How about this hat? It looks beyond, is this what I look like? I mean, I swear it doesn't look like that in the mirror. Maybe I shouldn't bring this. <laughs> Wow. Anyway, oh, that's not a good situation. <laughs> okay, I don't really think there's any fixing this right now. Anyway, I really appreciate you guys being here. So excited for the baby moon. I am exhausted right now. My feet are killing me. Like I walked 10,000 miles and I have walked nowhere. I've walked around my room like 80 times today, but I could not be looking forward to this more. Uh, I'm gonna try to vlog. I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog. At first I was telling myself I wasn't gonna vlog. That's what I always do when we're about to go on a trip. I'm like, I'm not gonna vlog. I'm not gonna work. I'm not gonna upload. I already have two videos that I'm planning to put up and then I'm probably gonna vlog. We'll see what happens though. No promises. I know you guys understand. Y'all are totally understanding about that kind of stuff and I really appreciate that. I don't know if I can take myself seriously for even one more minute but I just posted a photo on Instagram. I'm so excited about everything right now. I'm just feeling really good. I mean, I'm really tired, but I'm feeling really good. Third trimester, it really feels like it's going too fast at this point. I'm like, oh, wait, slow down. Like, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> like first trimester, not enjoying this. But second trimester, I've been enjoying this. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't do this forever. And then suddenly I'm like, wait, it feels like it's over, hold on. Anyway, I'll see you guys next week. Thanks. I love you. Bye.